Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial, but first I'd like to talk a little bit about Ipsy and a little bit about um, a online course that I'm taking. Uh, first I'm going to talk about Ipsy. Ipsy is an organization that helps, or that doesn't help, that, uh, give, that sends makeup in a nice little bag to you, um, and it's either a makeup product a face mask, a hair product, or a nail product. And it is a really, really nice organization just because it helps people get into the um, idea and the, um, like, experiment. It gets in them into experimenting with makeup, and it's just a really cool thing. And they have a uh, new thing called uh, Ipsy Plus, which is a bag that they send you but that it has a full size sample so instead of getting like a smaller sample it gives you a full sized sample and I think that that is like a really cool thing just because of the fact that it um helps with the fact that um you would have more product with the um Ipsy Plus because you have you it's a full size thing um, and I believe that it's worth the extra fifteen dollars just because you do get a full size product. Now the online school is um, a twenty to twenty hour thing. It's about twenty two or twenty three modules, um, and it's uh, about it's about twenty five dollars. It's a still have that discount going, um, but it's, uh, talks about the history of makeup and, uh, trends that were from the old times, from, like, ancient times, and then from, uh, the 19, uh, the 890s and the 80s and all that, and then from now, and how we've kind of evolved, how makeup has evolved throughout time, and how we've taken trends from, like, ancient times, and we've put them into trends now, and it's just a really, really cool thing that I really, really do enjoy, you know, learning about. Now jumping into this tutorial, we're going to be doing a Belle from Beauty and the Beast inspired look. So I'm going to start off with foundation. And I'm going to use this Remiel London, um... Stay matte, um, mousse, uh, finishing mousse foundation in the shade, uh, light ivory, or fair ivory, and I'm going to blend it in with a little blending cushion here. Just to... Give more of a natural blend to it. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply some concealer and I'm going to use this Be Bright Illuminating Concealer and I'm going to use that same like puff thing and I'm just going to blend it in with that like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that with this Stay Matte Loose Face Setting Powder in the shade Transparent.
Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to actually do some um, eyeshadow first. And I'm going to use my um, dual ended brush if I can find it. Actually, I'm going to actually use this tiny detail brush. And I'm going to use this um, uh, LA Colors Smoky Palette. And I'm going to use this brown shade right here. And I'm going to go ahead and in my crease, go ahead and just apply it like so. Just to already map out my crease. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit with a little bit of that brown on top of it. Just blend that out a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye, too. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, apply some of that uh, yellow undertone concealer just to give a, uh, a base for the yellow eyeshadow all over my lid. Right under that that line of brown. Mm 
Okay. Now I'm going to go into this Hue palette right here. And I'm going to pick up some of this yellow. And I'm going to pat that right on top of that concealer. And then I'm going to pick up just a little bit of that gold and just put a little bit of that on top of the yellow. Just a little bit, not too much. Just to add just a little bit of shimmer. And now, <clears throat> now I'm going to add a little bit of that brown along the lower lash line as well. And now I'm going to put on some um, mascara and I'm going to use this CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. I'm not going to do a wing for this uh, look. I'm just going to put some red lipstick on just to tie the look together, but I'm not going to put too much on. I'm just going to put a light uh, shading on of it. <laughs> And I'm going to put on a light dusting of blush. And that's it. So we did the brown for her hair and the yellow for her dress. We did the uh, light dusting of blush for the Disney look. And we just did a light dust of a red lipstick just to give some color to the lips but not too much. And we just did our eyebrows normally. We did a light dusting of foundation just to give some color to our face and to give it more of a natural base look. And that's it. Bye.